This is Twit. Flo, you've you've been playing around with the Google Clips camera. I've literally been playing around with it. I've been doing nothing but playing around with it. Look how small this thing is. Look how cute it is. Look how cute this color is. By the way, it's uh, kind it's of matches the curtains. It's, it's a little teal color, actually. Yeah. It's not green. Um, I guess behind us that means the light is very teal, but it's nice little teal coloring here. This is the Google Clips. It is not on right now. I'm going to show you how it works on here in a second. Uh, but to turn it on, all I have to do is this. Boop. Oh. And then I would place it down or to be on. Uh, so this is the Google Clips. That's it. That so is the clips on. The this, light blinking means that it's ready? It means that it's doing its thing. So the light oh, is God. letting you know it's doing its thing. It's taking constant, uh, constant shots at the moment. You can press it again, and then I believe, uh, I'm still actually kind of learning what these symbols mean, to be honest with you. <laughs> they ran it with me through the, uh, through the setup, but then I kind of forgot. Um, I kind of just been using it as, you know, just pressing a button and hoping that it takes pictures. You can press this button. This is like a manual shutter button. So if you just want to like take a selfie, which I have done, you can. Selfie's not going to look very good though. Because this is a 130 degree lens right here. Also, look at how much this thing protrudes out. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't expecting it from the photos that were online, but it protrudes out because it's also, you know, a switch for on and off. You don't have to actually turn it on to connect it to your phone, which is nice. So it'll still do the Bluetooth thing and uh, transfer all of your data. I mean, if it's not connected to the phone, it's just constantly recording to just storage inside recording. the device, right? And then the and next it's, time you can it's see. not connected to the internet at all. Nope. Right. It's just yep. filing all of that to an internal 16 gigabyte uh, storage drive, whatever's in there. Here's the cute little case that it comes in. You can put it in either way to clip it on yourself or to stand it up. Um, if you've got it in smart capturing mode, it will only take pictures it thinks it thinks are worth taking. So usually when it sees like animals and photos and people in the photos, I tried for instance uh, to put this on my dash as a sort of dash cam to take some interval photos of the pretty hills on the way here, but um, it wasn't. It was on smart mode, so it didn't see people. <laughs> so it didn't pick and it appropriately. Apparently, didn't take a picture of the cows either. So it's way more calibrated for people than it is anything else. I think it's way more calibrated for working inside of a house. Although uh, I want to see how okay. it works, like inside of a car. Like imagine, like you have a backseat, you know, road trip, a bunch of people. Because this is the kind of thing that you can just kind of put into the corner, and it'll just do whatever. Like it'll just snap photos. And that's exactly what I used it for last week. Um, so before I show you kind of how it syncs with the app, Victor, if you wouldn't mind meistering up the quick little Google Photos album that I put together. So actually start at that one of me podcasting. Um, and is motion photo on? Okay, awesome. So if you just want to go through them, Victor, it will just kind of motion photo each of them to show. So these are, these are all taken with Google Clips uh, between three to seven seconds per clip. It really depends on like what's going on in the clip. This is me uh, recording actually the clock download podcast last week for Relay FM. This is me working at my parents' house. I know, so Flo, glamorous. Flo, this is really like uh, <laughs> revealing. These I, it's fine. It's fine. It's just me in my work kimono. Uh, you can keep going, Victor, instead of keeping it on this. <laughs> but I just want to show you just like how dull the photos are if you have nothing if you have nothing <laughs> like you can keep going Victor. well just think about it this way these are the most exciting moments of these dull moments in your life yeah right? so here's me drinking booch uh so exciting okay now the next one is this is so this is me hanging out with my brother and my cousin and we're making dinner i we listen to music i was dancing so you can just cycle through these victor um you know it's like the, these are just the kind of clips that you I mean, that you make. It's kind of like a security camera. It's like a Nest camera. <laughs> there's no, and it, it is a lot like a Nest camera. Um, there's no sound to it except, like, I can't just, you know, pop in and listen. It's Actually, so Victor, weird. if you refresh the page real quick, I added a couple of, I added a couple more after that. Sorry. At the bottom, I think. At the bottom, yeah. At the, <gasps> yeah, start right oh, there. Some of these no, are no, really the, good. the, yeah, that one in the middle. There we go. Sorry. Uh, I just wanted to show, it took a picture in my purse outside the window. <laughs> oh, because so, of that. Because the, it, was, it was on, um, <laughs> it was on the what magic is, mode. 
What's on the, what's hanging from your rear view mirror? The pink little Pokemon thing that's Dan, the little Pac-Man Oh, that's a, Cur- that's a Ninja Kirby. <laughs> that's wow, a Ninja sure. Kirby. Oh, AKA my yeah, alter ego behind the wheel. Uh, probably shouldn't say that out loud. Uh, if we keep going, I actually put the clip out in front now just to take pictures of me and Jason. Just I really doing hope our it thing. didn't capture me picking my nose. Uh, I hope not either. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, no, it did. We're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, look how helpful studio lighting is, by the way. I know. Uh, so it's like a little security camera, basically. I don't. I don't understand. So I was uploading I these over the weekend to my Instagram stories. Uh, so they're longer than the traditional motion photos that we would take with uh, with the Pixel Two cameras. Longer than that, the Pixel Two camera photos usually yeah. top out at three seconds. Sometimes they're only as long as a second, which makes it really hard to share as an Instagram story, for instance. But like piecing them all together, making this sort of little like montage of like your family's time over. I don't want people to Need hear the conversations montage. that my family and I are having because we're probably talking about you, quite honestly. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't want these things on the internet, but I'd love to kind of show the fact that my family and I are getting together for like a little dinner. Sure. Um, Here's a slice know. of life. Here's a slice of life. Plus, and you didn't have to like hold up a phone to capture I put it. Like this, that's kind of the beauty of this. I thing. put this right next to the microwave in my parents' house and I let it just capture us for an hour. And the thing is, it was on the magic mode and it didn't capture us at all while we were all outside sitting on the patio because there's nothing to right. do in there. Like no animals either. Um, so very quickly, if we just want to go through the app so I can just show um, over here over the shoulder, it's it's basically the Google Clips app is Tinder for clips. So if you want to save something, <laughs> for instance, this is not this is not so exciting. But if you want to save a photo, all you have to do is swipe over to the right to save and swipe over to the left to delete. Oh, I loved that one though. Why did you get rid of that? Oh. It's Sorry, gone. It's gone. but the nice thing about it is nobody backed this up into the cloud because I didn't tell it to. Oh, okay. Now, if you do save something, which what you can do is you can tap and you can edit photos if you need to. Edit the, ooh, look, I just discovered you can edit the motion if you want to. That's kind of neat. <laughs> I oh, just okay. discovered that, cool. Um, you can delete it if you want to, so it's gone forever. Or you can save it to your hard drive, and as soon as you save it, it's going to file it away to Google Photos where it belongs in the d- timeline, and then it'll upload that if you have upload uh, turned on on right, your right. Google Photos app. So it's not until you do that that these get uploaded to the cloud. Over here, if you toggle this on, you'll see all of the magic photos. Um, actually, I think these are photos that are on the device. It is worth noting that because I'm having trouble sort of picking out what's going on in the app, um, I, d- I kind of wish there's a little more labeling. I think it's a tiny bit oversimplified app, but I understand why it's that way because we want to make this easy to use and it's supposed to be a simple, like no brainer, put it in the corner, take photos. But I just want a little bit more handholding through this app. Just want to say that. Um, here in the corner though, you can see your battery. I don't think the battery was, it's supposed to last up for three hours before you need to charge it. But I, I had to plug it in like twice while I was mm. at my folks' house over the weekend. Man, for a, a standalone thing that you want to set somewhere and capture throughout a, a given time, three hours doesn't seem like very much time. Well, do you need more than three hours? Well, well, I guess I you're know. having a party. I don't know if you're setting it and forgetting it. Tells you how full it is in here in the corner. That's true. I guess you don't need more. The settings let you set up video quality. Uh, You can increase the resolution. You can choose what to save it as. You don't have to save them as motion photos. In fact, you could just save them as an animated GIF if you want to um, or a video. Or video, yeah. You can set the capture rate. You could set familiar faces. This is a thing that I did not. I'm going to turn it on right now. It's going to whoop download that information from your uh, Google Photos library. So it's going to do all of that. So that's the app. Pretty straightforward. Um, is this worth 280 bucks? That was my question. That was $280 after shipping and handling and taxes, by the way. So? Uh, I Listen, the HTC Re that came out years yeah. ago, you guys remember that? Periscope. Oh, I love that design. It looked like an asthma inhaler. It's yeah. still like one of the <laughs> best little cameras that I've had. You know, I would bring it to family holidays. We would take time lapse. I have time lapse of every uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner I've ever had in the last couple of years since it came out. Um, now I have a Gear 360, the second version that I use, you know, when we go out into nature because we have 3D video. For this, this is definitely the kind of like, $280 is a lot to spend on a machine learn on a camera that uses 
what what I sort of believe is the same kind of the same machine learning that's mm -hmm. already in the Pixel 2 phone. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm not going to put my Pixel 2 phone up in the corner. I'm going to have it on me the whole sure. time. Yeah. I like... I like the whole like novelty of having this. I love the motion photos, so I'm crazy about them. I love to uh, make little albums for me and my family and my friends. We have a lot of Google Photos albums going on now. I've gotten a lot of people on that train to just like create albums where everybody's adding things. And so I like being able to add this kind of stuff to it. I like these photos. <laughs> and I think my friends are appreciating it too. But as for $280, it's like, it's quite a kind bit of, of money. It's kind of get. pricey to do that right now. Wait until it falls in price or there's a sale, kind of like, you know, how the Google Homes went on sale. And then, you know. Or, yeah, I mean, there's also, I, I feel like the Re is, a, is an apt comparison, but if you're if you're looking for one that's a little more recent, the the front row camera that I checked out a few oh, months Oh, yeah, back, I remember. You were wearing yeah. it around your neck. I was. I got an awful lot of, I was life logging, Flo. It's, <laughs> I, was, I, was, uh, I was being very hip. And um, yeah, you could time lapse your whole day with it. You can do you can do all the stuff you can do with Eclipse, you know, and more. It's not as simple. It's not designed to do quite the same stuff, but it can do all of it. And you have an interface right on the device, and you can wear it, or you can. It comes with a stand. You can put it up. It's basically the same exact price. It's two ninety nine right now, I think. And that seems to me, I couldn't find a place for it in my regular life, but it seems to me to be addressing a lot of the same things that Eclipse is trying to do. And I think it's actually, even though it's technically more complicated. I think it gets the job done a lot more easily than Clips does. Of course, I've had Clips for 25 minutes, so I don't know. I just I, I just really like the direction that we're going in terms of cameras and how we have phones on us that all take pictures and that at the end of a really fun day out with the friends that maybe you don't see as often as you wish you could, like we all have these memories and I just... I can see this fitting well into that because it's not taking video, so I don't have to edit anything. Um, it's taking photos in intervals, so it's not taking everything at the same time. And I have all these candid photos. But yeah, like you said, it's a lot of money mm -hmm. for that yeah. benefit. For for what seems like features that will probably just be features in I an mean, upcoming camera on a phone. Like yeah. You can buy a cheap point and shoot for a hundred yeah. bucks at Target. And for a lot of people, that's going to be just as good as having this thing with machine learning. Yeah. But the sheer novelty of this thing, the way it, the industrial design of it, the like the way it matches with the rest of the Google product family, like putting this next to the three homes and the pixel and the design paradigm and the color scheme across them. Like I see what you're doing, Google. And I think it looks nice. Well, nice. <laughs> see the, the the thing about that, and I agree with you with the with the color scheme and the design and stuff like that. I feel like this device is overpriced as it is. It's introducing a new paradigm of photo taking, which I like. I like the idea that instead of holding up the camera or whatever, we're going to put a camera in your house that will grab the moments that you want and all. You know, like Jason, I go back to your Google Glass and and yeah. your and you know with your child and all that sort of stuff. Um, I feel like the second or third iteration of this will be the home run. When they can get the price point mm -hmm. down, it's got to be sub $100 if you ask me. It's got to be – it's sub 129 maybe even. It's got to be half mm -hmm. the price of what it is now, and it's and and it's got to be quick and easy, and it's got to be smarter than you are, you know? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll when, you, when you look at those pictures after the fact, you, you will have to be able to look at those pictures and be like, man, oh, I'm so happy that captured and not – Oh, that's a random thing that happened in my life. Oh, that's a you know seemingly random. Like, I don't know that that is the part that I have a hard time with. Is like when you set it up, it's making determinations of what's good to capture. But when you're looking at it, like, are they moments that you would have chosen to capture, or that you that, that are really like stand out from the rest, or is it just a random moment? What, <laughs> what I want to what I want to see, yeah, and that's the thing is that like, and also it's got to be positioned in just the right way, especially if you're going to have it around the house. Yeah, you know, and so like how I kind of envision is they take whatever crazy technology with the very small lens and the storage and be able to put several around the house and then have the Google AI stitch together a scene or a moment. You know what I mean? Like, and I, I know that will take more networking and more kind of That's connection amongst them. But yeah, right? Yeah. That's going to happen yeah. because already look what they do with your Google Photos. They put together little movies for you. Yeah. You know, AI is doing all of that behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so I imagine it's going to do the same with this. This is just a beginning iteration. It's, you know what? 
I'm glad I bought it's it. Neat. I'm gonna bring it. I'm gonna be bringing it because I'm going to start using it as part of like my social media because I don't have time to actively be in social media as much as I used to. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this is a nice way to passively do it. Like yeah. you have something taking photos for you that you can just post later. Sure. Which you can uh, you can use those in your your Snapchat spectacles. And I would use these over Snapchat <laughs> spectacles. That's why I want this to work like on a bike or on a dash because I'd like to be able to, yeah. you know, yeah. take a picture of the pretty hills outside. Sure, But it won't do that because there's no people in those hills. Well, I mean, it's got to start capturing those cows. Come on, Google yeah. Clips.